Okay, in the last step we, we got a couple things to do to kind of clean everything up. Uh, one is that uh, the uh, uh, when you imported the database from the existing uh, uh, WordPress website to the new uh, WordPress website, it kept the username and password of the existing WordPress website. If you want to change that to, to what you originally had as a uh, uh, username and password uh, for your uh, new WordPress, new domain WordPress website, uh, you'll need to uh, go under your uh, PHP My Admin, uh, choose your database uh, 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 that you're using, which should only be one in this case, click on WP Users, and it'll bring up a thing like this. You should only have one user at this point. Uh, you want to click Edit, and once that loads, again we're taking forever to load here, uh, once that loads we're going to change the username and the user password on that. Um, okay, so here user login, okay, just highlight that, uh, change it to what you want it to be or it was before in the uh, new domain uh, uh, when you installed WordPress on, your, uh, on the new domain. Uh, the second part is the user pass right here. You just want to type in whatever the password was before or what you want to create it to be. The big key here is on the drop down menu you want to select MD5 and go ahead and hit go down here and that should uh, take care of that situation you will have to log back into your WordPress dashboard uh, using the new username and password uh, one last thing to do uh, you'll need to uh, connect uh, to your uh, existing domain, the one you're transferring from, um, and find the upload file again um, using as public uh, HTML uh, contents uploads. And as soon as that comes up, you'll have the 2012 directory, and under there you should have, at least in this case, a 01, a 03, and 04 uh, directories. You want to download the 01, 03, and 04 in this case uh, to your desktop or somewhere else on your computer, and then you're going to turn around and upload those, not directories, but the contents of those directories. Uh, which are all JPEG uh, picture files and other types of media and you upload them to the corresponding uh, um, uh, directories in the new domain so o the contents of 01 directory will go into the contents of 01 uh, directory in the new domain the 03 uh, will go into the 03 and 04, 04, 04 in this case you shouldn't have anything in it all the uh, pictures and other media uh, content for the website uh, should be uh, was in L1 and O3 in this case but double check them all uh, while you do that uh, to make sure everything works <coughs> the last step is to uh, to go ahead and log in well one go to the new domain and also log into the dashboard uh, uh, the WordPress dashboard for the new domain uh, try to from the WordPress uh, 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 dashboard go ahead and upload another theme upload some plugins uh, upload some pictures make sure everything is working uh, take a look then at the domain itself and make sure everything is functioning correctly on that it should be at this point but uh, if there is any issues or any problems feel free to contact us here at the ironclad tech and we'd be more than glad to help you that should have concluded your transfer of an existing domain to a new domain and both the existing domain is up under uh, or site is up under the existing domain and the new one is looks just like it but is under uh, a new domain thank you